Hey guys and welcome to our anniversary vlog. This is 13 years of celebrate nothing but love. And that's amazing. So we have officially made it to Miami. That's where we trying to turn up at. If you trying to turn up, what what name another place to go other than Miami? I'm waiting. So yeah, we have officially made it to Miami. And we have checked into our hotel early because our flight was early. And they allowed us to check in early. So we are actually staying in the Gates Hotel on South Beach. So I picked this hotel mainly because it's partnered with Doubletree. And if y'all know anything about hotels, Doubletree is the one who got the cookies. So soon as i checked in i'm like uh-uh what my cookie said what my cookie said i don't eat dairy but that's gonna be my one pass but i'm gonna make sure that the cookies are warm and hot if it's not warm and hot i don't want it and i ain't finna waste my pass on a cookie that ain't fresh but your girl don't eat sweets but these double tree cookies I can eat them all day. And that's the number one reason why I booked this hotel out of all the hotel, because the cookies. Now that really says a lot. So Babes is actually putting up our groceries because of course we stopped at Trader Joe's and we got a couple of odds and ends just to hold us over in between times. Gonna say hey to the vlog. What's up? <laughs> So, he's on duty to get us set up, you know what I'm saying? We went ahead and picked up a couple of drinks because the party don't start until you got a drink in your hand. But I'm talking all that junk and I'm lightweight. I don't really drink like that. Got a couple wine coolers. <laughs> but we actually gonna probably go to a liquor store and get something slight. But we ain't trying to turn up like that, like that. We too old. Got a lot of things, you know? Yeah, we do got a lot of drinks. Let me show y'all the drinks. So let's see what babes did. Ooh -wee. We got some drinks in here. So we got some water. These my favorite little wine coolers from Trader Joe's. We got peach flavor and also not wine coolers, those are wine. Oh, these not wine coolers. These are wine cocktails, but, and we also have some mango ones down here. And what you end up getting? Oh, he ended up getting some ciders. I never had this before. Have we had these? No. So we're going to try those out. And of course we had to get some water. We got some coconut water. You know, we got to, what you call it, baby? Recharge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Electrolytes, recharge. And I picked up this juice because I needed, you know, something fast for like a um, breakfast or something. Cause, yeah, so I'm gonna put that up there. We got some rice milk for cereal. What is cereal at, babe? So we got rice milk for a cereal for a quick little snack. We got the cereal, the peanut butter, coconut, bananas. Bae's got some, what you call these, fruit bars. Mm -hmm. So, some real quick. He tried the mango slices because the original ones he liked clearly is not in stores anymore yeah. in Georgia or Florida. So that's our quick little sit-yo for now. So now that we have officially put away our perishable items, we're about to find a spot to eat at because we haven't ate today. What time is it? It's only about 12.15. It is noon. It feels so late. Maybe because we got up early, but Traveling always gonna throw you off. Hi. We've been up since uh, five o'clock, so six hours we already been up. 
and it's only one o'clock. Well, twelve fifteen. So How something to keep me from getting grumpy. How they taste? Um, they good enough to keep in my bag throughout the day. All right, so we'll catch y'all at a little brunch spot because your sister needs something to eat now. So we're supposed to be going to get something to eat and Mr. Fix It always trying to fix some. Let me get a chair though. You gonna hold the chair for me? Oh, I'm gonna hold a I'm chair for you. I'm trying to make sure that we got some good light blockage. I'm trying to go get something to eat, and you want to make sure this freaking window blade okay, we is. Cool right now. Come back. No, we're come on. on, fix it. No, come fix it. Show the people what the things you like to do. This is not that serious. Yes, it is that serious. We can't go nowhere without you fixing some. Mister, put your hand on everything. So the uh, apparently the what you call this thing the the window shade was off track and oh it came back off oh, oh it's, it doesn't have the thing to keep it in keep track it in the track in the first place uh -oh. that's what it is so really I don't have to you get what I'm saying yeah oh well we ain't gonna worry about it we can't fix what's Totally broke. We can't fix was totally broke. Fuck this. Branches. We in South Beach. So we have officially made it outside and the beach is to our left over here. We'll hit that up soon. Look at this. Is it called um it start with an M. Monument? Yeah, but no, I don't see it's nothing. Art. It's just oh. a sculpture. It's just a sculpture, but it's pretty. It's a good place to take a picture at. Yeah. But stand in the grass. Stop. So I'm gonna continue to vlog while Babes is taking me a picture behind well in front of this art but the sun is like so I got a professional telling me what to do just because it's sunny out here don't mean that you can't get the shot because he know how to work around all of that but Take your hand and pretend like you're pushing up against that rock. This hand? Yeah, the other hand. Put your hand flat. Bring it close to you that way. Me or the hand? The grass is too much fun. Too much fun because I thought it was above. Oh no. <laughs> be cooler. It's probably better for me because I'm taller. It'd look better if you could like pretend to lean on it, but you're too short. And I don't like, know how like to. That. You gotta really like that. Yeah. Rest your hand though. <laughs> you like, I'm doing too much. Oh, that might work. And look at me. One more. See that perspective? Okay, that should be. What y'all got to do to get it? What y'all got to do? I say, water, water, we out in public. So you said you're trying to get to the top? Oh, you're yeah. trying to tip, so tip. Tip. I got a tip. No, I'm saying you're trying to put. Oh, you're trying to rest on top. Yeah, do you? Can you see it? Uh, but you're too far. Go to the, go closer to the rock. No, you got to move around. It's easier oh. if you move around. You get what I'm saying? Or I'll do that. That's better. I'm gonna step a little bit back to the right. I want to get it. Oh. oh. 
That's why I said you gotta move too. I was moving for you. But you ain't hiding enough. How high do I gotta go? Okay. Okay. Uh, I can't get it. I'm just gonna snap and I'm gonna show you what I got so far. Okay. probably have to go even lower. Yeah, it's hard. Exactly. That's what I said. You, you got to do the movement. It's only but so much I can do. The only other thing I could probably do is step a little closer. Do like that. Now you too big. Professional, of course you're gonna do good. Look, I got you looking like a giant. Let me see. Huh? Oh, you can't really can't see it. Yeah. So the vlogging baby. The vlogging baby. You, oh, you the baby. <laughs> This is the strip. This is the strip, though. But my thing is, I'm surprised that you haven't even looked at a map to see where you went and see what stuff is at. We Everything just is. Flowing, yeah, I know, but we're at like we just flowing then. Look, Joe and the Juice. There goes some shit right here. Walking on in here to see what they're talking about. settled in it was like okay cool we got our room we didn't unpack we didn't like spray the bed down with like saw none of that we went and got something to eat because again we've been up since like five in the morning so you know that's a long time to not really have eaten anything substantial and that's when we stumbled across a spot called orange blossom and that was like right down the street from the hotel maybe like two blocks at best and it was a cool little nook. How did we find that? We just left the hotel, bust the right, and we just stumbled. Right, we spoke the to seat. the we spoke to the concierge downstairs. She was trying to get us to do some little tour or something at the time, but anyway, it was like where the restaurants at? We hungry. She said, Well, we have restaurants here, which they do, but you know, we are gonna be here, so we're not really interested in what's right here. We wanna see kind of what's in the surrounding area. So she said, if you go out, make a right you'll eventually run into some stuff. And I want to say that was pretty much the first thing we ran into that wasn't like a coffee bar, smoothie shop type of thing where you could actually sit down and order some legitimate like lunch items, brunch items, stuff right. like that. And um, I liked the space. The service was prompt, you know. And the um, food was fresh. Food was fresh, it was accurate, it was tasty. Uh, the only thing that threw me off was I thought I was going to get me a sweet drink and that was not the case. I ended up, I mean, it was a healthy drink, but it was tough to stomach. I was like sipping it through a straw or whatever, but um, I knocked it out, right? Yeah. I, I knocked it out. You ha I, I, have to, out. I have to challenge you though. You did? In order for you to get it done. <laughs> Why guys always have to be challenged? Competitive spirit? Yes. That's why. Good gracious, cause you was talking all that I can't finish this, this nasty. Told you you had this drink that day. It's healthy. You about health, ain't you? <laughs> you can't be talking about you all healthy and stuff. Look at it. Cucumber, kale, <laughs> spinach. Come on, man. Oh, man. I drank your Now you got to chug it. You think it's not good, but it's extremely healthy. It's uh, 
Can you hold this? It's a green power, got cucumber, apple, kale, romaine, spinach, parsley, celery, and lemon. So it's a cold pressed juice, no GMO, organic, and you all about being healthy, but you struggling with drinking this juice. It's not good. I thought it was going to be sweeter than this. Oh, so you wanted to say a little sugar added. Not sugar added, but let it be more primarily based on the apple and the lemon. It tastes like, like celery water or cucumber water. Ain't nothing in there sweet but apple, and that's the only thing out of 10 ingredients. Kale is very strong. I know, but even when that's the case, the sweet still prevails usually. But are you gonna chug this drink? You gonna show the people that you know you've been a big man and you gonna chug this drink? <laughs> Because it's healthy and you like okay, it. Okay, okay. I don't think I'm be able to knock this whole thing down. Why, Why not? Where, where, where do I have to get to? You have this full cool drink. You have to get to yeah, come the on, bottom. Man. Stop it. Stop it. That's way too much. Yes. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get here. If it was a red, um, a red apple cider beer, you would chug it. I feel like I can't do this with a straw. Nah. No. Too slow. Nah. No. Alright. It's tough, man. You doing too much talking. But you're gonna feel good though. Let me, I hope so. Let me see your glass. You finished it? So, yeah, brunch was pretty good. I, we got a um, turkey burger. Yeah, we got the same thing. With fries. And I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, so I really did. Well, I enjoyed it, but. Because I wasn't feeling too good, I couldn't complete it like I wanted to. So, and I also had a healthy drink, and it was it was good. Both drinks was good to me. Mine's was better, but hers was better, and I didn't even really get a chance to drink that one for real. I just tasted it. So yeah, that was that was a pretty um, decent brunch. So after brunch, what did we do? If it's one thing that babes do every time we go on our anniversary trip. It is. You already know I gotta get me a hat. Sunblocker he, hat, specifically. He always gotta get a hat every it's single tradition. time. Myrtle Beach started it off. Every single time he get a new hat, a new sun hat, he said he gotta protect his nugget. Yeah, man. You don't want your brain overheating. So, we just finished eating brunch at Orange Blossom. Orange Blossom. Oh, and this is our hotel. So now we headed back to set up a appointment to do like a tour of yeah, the city. Yeah, we're gonna do that now. We came back to the hotel and we decided to actually do the tour that the concierge was trying to pitch to us. Because usually when we get to a new city, we always do it anyway. We just buy one of the basic um, bus tour packages and do it just to get a lay of the land mm -hmm. and that way because we're going to be here for like five six days so it's like okay day one we don't really have anything on the agenda other than settling in with that comes understanding where we are and what's around us so we decided to do it we did the combination which was the bus and boat tour so it starts off a bus tour that's about two hours and then a boat tour that's about an hour and a half which when we signed up, we didn't know it was going to be that long, but hey, we did it now. Okay. I'm going to try not to lose my hat sitting up here. We're going slow right now, so I'm letting it stay on. But when we 
pick up speed. I gotta take it off. This is helping me keep my brain cool. So we're about to start a bus ride tour of the city. They have it. questionable thing about it was like they wasn't gonna pick us up from the hotel babes does not feel good right now right. so they wanted us to walk they said it was like a 10 minute walk to the pickup site we're at the Gates Hotel and we're like man we can sign up for all that we're not gonna do it um, concierge was adamant she really wanted to sell the package so she specifically called the place spoke to the bus driver asked if he could pick us up and drop us off back at our hotel. At first he said no, but then she called him back when she saw that we just flat out wasn't gonna do it if we couldn't have that service attached. And she negotiated with him to do to do so. So around, you know, 15 minutes before our departure, they pulled up and we just got on the bus. The only weird thing was like we paid some of it on car to the concierge and then they wanted us to pay the bus driver but it's like the bus driver didn't have a credit card um, swipe at the at the POS at the point of sale. So it's like, how are you gonna split the payment and then just volunteer us to have cash? We don't have cash. Right. And so they're like, well, we can do Zelle or we can do Cash App. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but you know, whatever. We 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 was like, okay, we got Cash App. We didn't already said we're gonna do it. It's a good deal, fifty five dollars for a bus and boat tour. That's not bad. Mm -hmm per person so um we go to the bus i actually do have cash so i just give the rest of the money to them in cash at the bus and we do both um yeah and i think that the we could have did one or the other because basically the bus tour and the boat tour were was the same information you just did the tour on the bus, rode around the city, or on the boat in the water. But basically the same information. So if you want to do the combo, you actually can pick one or the other. Yeah, I agree. And not only that, but as a tour goes, you know, you're not really going to get the information that you want out of it because they have like very limited, specific points that they're going to touch. Like, they don't just give you a tour to give you a lay of the land. In other words, when we came out of it, we still didn't really know what was around. They only mentioned select few restaurants, um, select few areas, and truth be told, you can tell that those places already have established contracts with the tour itself. And so that's why they stop at these places or allow you to go shop at these places. But you really don't get like, a diverse understanding of what there is to do in the city of Miami, truth be told. Most of the boat tour is just showing you expensive landmarks, famous people's vacation homes, where they stay when they're on vacation sometimes, maybe once a week. Well, right. once one week out of the year type of homes. That's a large part of the boat tour. And then the bus tour just takes you to like, um, Little Havana. Little Havana. Yeah. Oh. This one specifically takes us takes you to Little Havana and you just you know, you can buy cigars if that's your thing. Um, you can do coffee if that's your thing, and then they take you to like a burger joint where you can get some mojitos. Only thing you're allowed to bring back on the bus is the mojitos, um, not the food or like the um well you can bring the cigars of course, but right. you know, so I mean I would suggest doing your own research to find out what you're really interested in. If you come to Miami, don't rely on that tour because it's not going to give you a good overall understanding of what there is to do. For instance, we saw, we found so much stuff in the one, We mind you, we only been here one day. We found more stuff just generally exploring that actually fits our interests than the bus tour could have provided or the bus boat tour combined provided. Um, and there was so much stuff that we saw that they didn't even mention just by looking. Right. So, you know. Um, and then after that, we 
we came back here and no we didn't no after the boat tour we actually found a um dinner spot to go to since the travel was so far yeah i mean it was like in order for us to after the boat tour was over we was hungry we didn't really have a set agenda for day one so you know it's like go back home just to try to get something to eat in that area near our hotel or eat now we hungry now <laughs> what's around where we already are uh, granted it had been a long day we was out in the sun we sat on the upper level of the bus you know she got a little seasick from the um, boat ride so we already physically weren't in the best so we kind of wanted to freshen up but logically speaking by the time the boat tour concluded it was like 7 30 we still hadn't unpacked we still hadn't really you know figured out what we're what we doing, doing the next yeah so it was like man just get something to eat now thug it out and then go to the hotel so we found a place the one thing that that boat tour did provide and mention was a place called Whiskey Joe's. Um, and so I looked it up and it fit the bill of what we were interested in. It was relatively close because obviously we saw it, we passed it while on the boat tour and then we concluded the boat tour. So it was already close. And um, so we just grabbed the lift and went there and ate and food was bussing. Yeah. I would say uh, we got some gator ate gator i ate gator he ate gator i mean i ate it too but that's not a surprise because i eat that kind of stuff but i was surprised when babe actually tried it Chicken, but a little rubbery. It was good. Um, it was good. I um, don't, you know. And the Thai sauce that was with it though is what really made it pop yeah. for me because I'm a sauce guy. Um, Chili and, Thai sauce. Yeah, yeah. And so after that, that's when we finally caught our lift and came back home. And then we had some, and we did the basics, you know, um, clean up the room, unpack. Spray everything down with Lysol, stretch, shower, shit, <laughs> shave, whatever made us feel better after this long day. Because day one was tough. We was both fighting through a lot of different, like, just physical things going on. I had, like, a headache that I got a day or two prior to even coming. Um, and it just was a lingering headache. Each day I wake up still had it. She had a headache. And, um, you know, so... We took some time to just decompress and unwind and, and settle in and enjoy our first night in the room. Oh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even too do it right. Late. What happened? Too late. What happened? You were talking about too hot. Oh, man, why? You always coming in here turning off the AC yeah, and I'm burning if up. You wasn't moving so much, <laughs> you wouldn't be hot right now. That's what I'm saying. I wasn't moving. You was doing a bunch of movement. What you call that? Freaky pop. <laughs> you was all over the place. 
Really? Relax yourself and you won't be as hot, okay? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. That mm -mm. was the situation. Oh man. So it's day two and we're about to get this party started. So if you want to see what we're going to do on our day two here in Miami, then make sure you stay tuned and check out the next video.